children have you studied tenses yes grandpa still we want to discuss on tenses today no problem as you know tenses tell about the time of an action they tell us about the action happened before or happening now or going to happen in future the present tense indicates the habitual actions general facts and official programs look at this example these men walk in the park every morning here the present tense tells about their habitual action here is another example the sun rises in the east in this sentence the present tense indicates a general fact look at this sentence the prime minister arrives here on monday here the present tense tells about the official program okay nivya can you explain past tense yes grandpa the past tense tells about the completed action and the past habit for example he won this cup in yesterday's competition here the verb tells us about a completed action look at this example in the sentence we woke up very late during last winter the past tense verb indicates the past habit grandpa let me explain about future tense a future tense expresses future action and is used in conditional clause also look at this sentence this bus will take you to trichy here the verb is used to tell about the future action in this example this dog will bite you if you enter the gate the future tense verb is used in a conditional clause jenny you tell about present continuous past continuous and future continuous tenses the present continuous tense is used for actions that are going on at the time of speaking example this dog is jumping here the action is happening during the time of speaking the past continuous tense is used for an action that was going on at a certain time in the past for example I was writing a letter at 8 o'clock this morning. Here, the action of writing was going on at a certain time in the past. The future continuous tense is used for actions that will begin at a certain time in the future and end after it. Here is an example. We will be touring Ooty by this time next week. Nivya It is your turn to explain perfect tenses. A perfect tense may either be present perfect, past perfect or future perfect. The present perfect tense links up a past action with a present one. Look at this example. The man has caught the tortoise in the pond. Here, the action of catching is a past one, but the man is still holding the tortoise at present. The past perfect tense is used for the action that happened first when we talk about two past actions. Look at the sentence. The sun had risen when I got up. Here, the action of sunrise is the first one of the two past actions. Hence, past perfect is used there. The future perfect tense is used to express the completion of an action by a certain time in future. example by this time tomorrow i will have finished the job here the job is going to be finished by a certain time in future hence future perfect tense is used grandpa can you tell us what adjectives are sure my child adjectives are the describing words they describe a person or a thing are there many kinds of adjectives grandpa Yes dear there are five kinds of adjectives let me tell about them one by one 
The descriptive adjectives show the quality of a person or a thing. Example, good, beautiful, etc. The possessive adjectives show the ownership. They are, my, are, your, his, her, its and their. The demonstrative adjective point out things or persons. They are this, that, these and those. The interrogative adjectives are used in questions. They are which, what, where, etc. And finally the adjectives of quantity include all the numerals like one, two, second, both, some, etc. Look at the example. These two are our dogs. Both are ferocious. Which is the bigger of the two? Here, the adjective ferocious describes the quality of the dogs and hence it is a descriptive adjective. The word are shows the ownership and hence it is a possessive adjective. The word these point out the dogs and so it is a demonstrative adjective. The word which forms a question and hence it is an interrogative adjective. And the words both and two numerals and so they are adjectives of quantity.